Nate Drag grew up on Lake Erie. I was a lifeguard all through high school, and I would remember seeing dead fish washing up and, and dead birds on the beach. He decided to turn his passion for the Great Lakes into his life's work. Today we're here for an uh, Adopt-A-Beach event, uh, which is a year-round uh, citizen science program where volunteers come out and collect and monitor uh, litter that's on the beach, as well as do a beach health assessment. It's not an easy job. Drag says it seems like there's always a new problem around the bend. Asian carp is a big thing right now. Um, the big fear that they'll be in the next invasive species that would come in and kind of uh, mess with the balance. The fish were imported into the south in the 70s, found their way into the Mississippi in the 90s, and started heading north. In essence, knocking on the door, because they're very, very close to Lake Michigan. And once they get into the Great Lakes, we can't just turn them around and send them back. Scientists had believed hundreds of these fish would need to cross electronic barriers set up near Chicago to start a self-sustaining population in the Great Lakes. But a new Canadian study suggests otherwise. If they're in a small area of the lake, you know, like a little embayment, even if there are just 10 or 20 of them, they could start to reproduce and their eggs float. Asian carp can grow to be more than 100 pounds and compete with native fish for plankton. Everything in the lake depends on what's going on in the planktonic community. And if they are filtering all that out, they're taking it away. They're also known for jumping out of the water. People have had their noses broken, people have been knocked off jet skis, people have been injured, they've jumped in boats. The Buffalo Common Council plans to call on the federal government to head off the issue. We want to make sure that Cleveland, Buffalo, um, Detroit all work together as one to help um, you know, call the national attention to this problem out of the Great Lakes. As for drag, the Asian carp are just one more thing to keep him up at night. We don't want to keep uh, going into uncharted territories and saying, okay, well, this came in, but we've survived things in the past. Let's, uh, let's see if we can dodge this one, too. In Hamburg, Ryan Whalen, YNN.